these are the supplies for our first project and I have seen lots of people make this beautiful mug toppers and I'm gonna leave you a couple of links in the description below so you can go and check them out. Hello guys, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project. For our first project I was having some issues with my spackling so what I decided is to build a base using mop strings. Yeah, I know that's weird because we're gonna do some mock toppers out of spackling but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap that all around my circle cardboard circle and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back to the top and wrap it around like so all around that cardboard circle okay that circle <laughs> sounded weird <laughs> but we're gonna cover that with the mop strings just like that we're not gonna cover it completely now i'm gonna cut the excess and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building up on our topper and for that i'm just adding more hot glue and start wrapping around on top of my topper okay lots of top <laughs> and we're gonna continue doing that closing the circle so you have to go on the inside of your mop string and as you can see it makes a beautiful base like a swirl kind of thing what i was trying to do with the spackling but it wasn't working <laughs> yeah it was a little bit too wet for this <laughs> now i'm gonna take the spackling and a knife plastic knife and i'm gonna take that spackling and spackle my mop yes that was my answer to the issue <laughs> So if you having if you're having trouble using your spackling to make your toppers, you can do a base out of mop strings, yarn, paper, or something. I just created this one so I can spackle it. And as you can see, I'm just making a little bit of texture with my knife. So it looks like whipped cream. Then when we finish, what we're gonna do is with that still wet, we're gonna add some glitter. And then we're gonna add some cinnamon and don't do the same thing I did. You see, that's lots of cinnamon. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take my straw. Nope, first we're gonna take an embellishment and I'm gonna take this Christmas tree and I'm put it over there. And then I'm gonna come back with a piece of cinnamon and add a little bit of hot glue so it stays there. Now I'm gonna take my straw and put it in the middle. And then I'm gonna cover that hole a little bit and add some of those sprinkles. You will see the issues that I had with those sprinkles, but it makes them look more realistic. And that will be it. This is part of the Inspire DIY Challenge hosted by Elena from Elena Jenkins DIY and Antoinette from Simple Yet Chick in the description box down below i'm gonna leave you the links to their channel so you can go and check them out and i'm also gonna leave the playlist link so you can go and check what everyone else came up with i know you're gonna find lots of awesome and beautiful things there remember that if you like modern farmhouse boho decor and lots of silly jokes that's what i do here so subscribe and go and check me out on my social media and these are the supplies for our second DIY. I'm not gonna use the letters or the wood burner. But this is what we're gonna need. Let's get started. We're gonna use black paint and antique wax. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wood, wood plank, and we're gonna stain it using the antique wax. So we're gonna cover all of it with that antique wax. You know, I love this stuff, it's just perfect for wood and it doesn't stink so what better than that <laughs> now i'm taking the coasters and doing the exact same thing and then wiping the excess using a sponge now i'm gonna let them dry but while they're drying i'm gonna take this fall leather and i'm gonna cut a piece of that fall leather a piece like two inches or so and I'm gonna cut it like that. And as you will see a little bit later, I, it was a mistake, so I will be doing some measuring. 
because I'm just playing around. Now you can see that I measured and it's like two inches or so. And I'm cutting my strip so I can glue it together. Now let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take them, we're gonna add lots of hot glue all around and just be careful because I got burned. <laughs> like I always do <laughs> and now we're gonna pinch that together like that and as you can see we have a handle and we will put it like this now we're gonna repeat the same thing with the other strip of our fall leather and we're gonna do the exact same thing pinching it together and I love this tray that I saw on the daily DIYers channel and I wanted to recreate it because Shannon is so talented and made this beautiful tray and now I'm just adding this strip or handle with our cute thumbtacks and as you can see I'm just hammering them down yeah hammering <laughs> hammering them down really nicely and then I'm gonna cut the excess because for me, they are a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut them down and now you can see that I cut them. This is how they are looking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take black paint and we're gonna paint the border where the two pieces of that leather meet. So we can make it look like it's finished and really beautiful. We will paint all of it and we will have a beautiful tray. I'm going to leave you in the description the link for Shannon's video so you can go and check what she created. And this is how everything turned out. As you can see, we have the mug toppers over here and they are the cutest thing ever. The spackle didn't want it to work, but guess what? I made it work. <laughs> and this is how they are looking. As you can see, we're having some issues with the cute sprinkles that I added because they are bleeding so I wouldn't recommend using them but they make this look a lot realistic because they will bleed on actual whipped cream right <laughs> and I styled my beautiful tray with some four gingerbread cookies remember that I'm gonna leave you in the description box down below the links for the playlist and our challenge hosts and if you like this hit the thumbs up if you love it subscribe so you can keep on watching this type of videos take care bye bye